Can you even see me? <laughs> this is an awkward angle. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Monthly Chronicle, this time for September 2013. Yay! Um, as I already stated in a previous video, I started film school this, uh, this, um, film school this month. Today was actually my first day of school and it was really cool. Expect to see more professional level videos coming soon to the channel. Well, maybe not necessarily this channel, but, uh, my second channel, Samson 9091. If you haven't already subscribed there, please do so. Um, I work so hard. Anyway, for the theme this month, I decided, um, I was actually very undecided, actually. Uh, there were a lot of things I was going to do. I thought about doing the 50 facts challenge, but I couldn't come up with 50 facts. Then I thought about doing, like, a, uh, question and answer thing where you guys ask me questions and then I'll answer them, which I think I'm going to do for next month, so... Uh, if you're watching this, leave me some questions down in the comments, and I will answer them next month for the next monthly Chronicle video. So, I'm a derp, and I didn't actually tell you what the theme this month was, I think, so I'm going to show you the posters that I've collected over the years. I have posters in two areas of my house. I have some in my basement by my computer desk, and I also have some in my bedroom. I'll start in the basement, since that's actually where I am right now. This is a Star Trek Into Darkness thing that my brother gave me, actually just tonight. It was a the cardboard display piece from his uh, work, and uh, he salvaged it for me. This here is a drawing that I did myself from the my comic series, Sam's Comics. Um, it was a depiction of a famous artwork piece. I, I, the name of the art escapes me. But uh, this is also another one that I did for myself. I also did uh, a couple other of these from some friends, but this is the one I made for me. It has various different uh, versions of me from the how many years I've been doing the comics. Down here I have a Tolkien map from The Hobbit, which if you look very closely you can see the moon runes on there too, which is a very well detailed map uh, from the movie. And speaking of The Hobbit, I also have a poster of Bilbo Baggins that came from Rolling Stone magazine. also have uh, two Harry Potter posters down here, Half-Blood Prince and Deathly Hallows Part 1. <laughs> so those are very nice. Also this R2-D2 thing that I made when I was like seven or eight. That I did when I was very young and that is a big nasty spider web. I am walking away. Onto the posters in my room. This is a poster of Jack Sparrow. A Three Stooges thing and another Three Stooges thing. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix poster which this one's actually pretty different. You can see it's a lot larger. Uh, this was actually a display poster that was in a theater. I don't know what theater. I actually oddly enough got it at an antique store which I don't know why it was even there but I got it. Another Tolkien map. This one's a little larger than the one I showed you previously. It's Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I actually kind of like that movie, though I can understand why a lot of people hated it. And finally, my Star Wars poster. This is a remake of one of the original 70s posters. I've had this poster probably the longest. I've had it since I was a little kid. Probably one of my favorites, actually. So film fun fact for this month. I have decided to give you a film fun fact from The Wizard of Oz. Now, The Wizard of Oz is a movie that I was super obsessed with for a while, especially the making of process. Back in 2009 when I was writing The Hollywood Grail, which was a failed project of mine, it was about the search for one of the two missing pairs of ruby slippers. Uh, since there were like, I think, if I remember, if memory serves me correctly, there were seven pairs of ruby slippers made, and five of them uh, we know about, and then there are two that are mysteriously missing, and uh, it was a script that I had written the search about it. It was an Indiana Jones script, which, um, yeah, I made it a little weirder, I guess. So with that, I will leave you, and I will see you next month. And please, again, leave me those comments.